Hi guys, I'm here with Vincent. He is the owner of Fabia of Rome and the Wig Gallery in Wethersfield, Connecticut. Yes, hi. I, I, uh, we're here today to introduce uh, the Wig Gallery of Wethersfield today and just uh, um, we're going to show Lisa some of our, our platforms that we have for uh, ladies that uh, go through chemo and ladies that go through uh, the unfortunate uh, hair loss uh, due to alopecia. Also, we are introducing some of the, the wig platforms that we're going to use for somebody that has hair like you so that can use it for fun, like you have this pink wig right now on, and they can use it for some uh, special events. All right, so we are going to show you around and give you a quick pan of all the wigs, and then I'm going to sit in the chair, and Vincent is going to work his magic. Yes, I'm going to do the magic. Okay, he is going to show me a wig that he thought would look good with my skin color for a fancy event. And I will let him explain exactly what happens when you come in for a wig consultation. So, uh, Lisa, before you come in for a wig consultation, when you come in for a wig consultation, we try to figure out what the client uh, needs are. Some clients have natural hair loss, some clients have uh, hair loss due to chemo and some clients have no hair loss whatsoever like you do and they want to have a wig for some special occasion. So at this particular portion, uh, this particular portion of the video, we're going to show you a wig that I think looks really nice on you and it's going to be really something that probably you were trying to, uh, to explain to me uh, and uh, it's going to go good with your clothes and the event you're about to attend. Okay. Okay? So, what we're going to try to do, Lisa, we're going to try, uh, first of all, uh, what we're trying to do for Lisa is to cover her personal hair right now because each one of these wigs is handmade and they're all for sale, so they're not sample wigs, and that's... Uh, 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 especially for hygiene, we're going to cap my head. We are going to keep, keep the your wigs hair. all clean. Exactly. So we're going to keep that, that. So now we have just two two colors, unfortunately, of net. We have a black and we have a cream color. But we're going to try it with the black one here because it's closer to your own hair color. So we're going to do this. Hold it. Okay. So. Now you feel underneath there, Lisa? Good. You feel okay? Yeah. So we're going to just bring these up. So we want to kind of expose. Or a scalp. Now, this is not necessary for Lisa to wear if she was to buy the wig. It's not necessary for her to wear this cap. So, what we're going to do, so if Lisa says, Vincent, this is what I want to purchase, we are going to put in some kind of clips underneath and then we can clip it right onto her own hair so that she can uh, feel comfortable when she walks around or she's dancing or she's at that special event to require some extra movement that is unexpected. So when we put the wigs on, uh, we always try to put them on from the front to the back. Again, this is an hand-tied, uh, beautiful, ear-resistant kind of a, a wig platform. And so it's very delicate, so we have to make sure that when we put it on, it's going to be put on correctly. So what we do is, and I'm going to explain it to Lisa, we're going to, we're going to take it like this, like just like it's a hat, 
And then we're going to put it onto your head. We're going to start and from... There's a tag right here in the There's a tag right in the back. So that tag is going to be cut off, by the way. Okay, so you're not going to have that tag. It's going to bother you during... Well, that kind of guides... Oh, it guides your back. You're back. right. This is the back. And, and, and the lace area, which is this area here, is going to be the very, very front. And so we're going to start when we put it on. We're going to start by placing this wig right here, uh, about an inch and a half into Lisa's forehead. Right, so right into your forehead, and then you're going to be bringing it up to where you want it to the natural hairlines. So, let's okay. do this, okay? I'm so, going to hold it. No, I'm not going to do anything for me. So, now you can hold the very, very tip of the front. You got it? Yep. You got it? Okay, I'm going to pull it in. Okay, let it go. And then we're going to find Lisa. <laughs> where is she? Right here. So then you see it's a little bit crooked. So these little, there's little tabs over here with a little piece of metal, and these are your sideburns. So we have to kind of hold your head still, Lisa. And we're gonna swing it right around like this. And it's gonna be right here. And this seriously almost looks like my hair when I was younger. <laughs> and here we go, right about there, Lisa. And just pay, if you pay attention to the very, very front, uh, and I'm going to just kind of move the camera into a little bit. And if you look at that, look how perfect transitions wow. from the forehead all the way back to the actual hair. And it's, that is so beautiful. And this over here is kind of a, uh, because it's all untied and it's all, uh, each hair is individually implanted. We can move this hair with our fingers from left to right, right to left, oh, wow. and kind of create a new different hairline or design. Right now, how would this. we hide my gray? So while out you right while your gray hair over here is just like by sh shaping it a little bit forward, okay, and then by integrating some of the very underneath there with the the frontal um, right here, just like this. And then you just move the, the, I'm sorry, you just move that a little bit forward, and then you integrate it just like that. Okay. Okay? Wow. And you see? And that's what is uh, so beautiful about this. Now, another thing you can do about with, with this beautiful piece is, let's say you want to put it up, and here we go. You just put it up like this. Look how gorgeous that is. And then you put a little, you put a little bit of a, a nice, Nice little clip right here, and it will stay up. Now, if you come forward like this, and she wants to just bring it forward, this is what she looks like. And if she wants to put it behind her ears, this is exactly what she's going to be doing. And this is how wow. this beautiful, beautiful piece uh, can look on, on you. What a difference from the um, artificial wigs that I've tried on before. This, mm -hmm. this feels seriously like my real hair. Right. And, and it's comfortable, even with the cap, it's comfortable. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Very lightweight, uh, wow. it moves and mimics just your natural hair movement. And, and they're gorgeous, they have real memory fibers on it that you can just move them and, and flows just like your hair. Don't get any ideas, guys. I am not dyeing my hair again, so don't even <laughs> leave in the comments that I look better with brown hair because it's not going to happen. <laughs> again, this is for special events. It's beautiful. But also think about if you went through the emotion of losing your hair because of chemo. Right. And you, you had gorgeous hair. And you wanted to look exactly like uh, you looked before. And this is the types of wigs that we recommend. And we take uh, a special... Uh, interest in in, in, in in designing and building. Wow. Isn't it beautiful? It is beautiful. So let's have a little bit more fun and let's try some other colors on okay. you and see what it looks like. Okay, we're going to try another wig. So Lisa, this is another wig. Now, this is a different platform. This is one of those wigs that has what they call a hard edge. Hard edge. So there is no transition uh, oh, okay. happening from here to your from your forehead to your scalp. Can we compare the, the two? Sure. Okay. Just hold that. So this is the hard edge, you called it, Vincent? Yeah, we call it a hard That's edge. That's hard edge. So the hard edge is a little bit different than a transitional edge, which is this one here. That's a transitional okay, like edge. like lace. It's a lace, but again, uh, there is all kinds of forms of lace 
and all kinds of ways to apply hair to lace. So okay. it's very important to have someone that is super experienced in, in applying the hair so that it looks invisible and the knot doesn't show like it's a fake knot or fake hair. Right. So the transition is based on the experience of the wafter and we have one of the best wafters around that creates those looks. So because this is uh, an art edge, so this is not a unit that you can kind of move it around as you, and flows as much as that. So it's basically a style, <clears throat> excuse me, a style that is designed just to look the way we're gonna do it. Okay. We're gonna put it on. So let's put this on and we do the same way. We, we're gonna start in the very front of the foot edge, just a little bit under your airline, bringing it in, and then begin to find you right here and bring it up to the edge of the hairline right here. Make sure that the two tabs are right in front of your ears. And Hang on, it's in my eye. <laughs> it's in your eye, okay, all right, that's good. So let me bring it back up, just like that. Let me see, I'm gonna come in front of you, I wanna see where you're at here, because I don't have a mirror in front of me. Okay, it's just about right. And this is a this is a kind of wig that's kind of a little fun to wear, it's got a little bit of curl, but again, they're very limited in style. You can't really uh, overstyle this wig. It just so the part stays where right. it is. Right. So these are the wigs I call them plug and play. You know, the, what, what you see is what you get. Me as a designer, I like to be very creative and design my own styles to the wigs. But this is kind of a plug and play. It's really still beautiful. It's got a real nice dimension to it, and it's really you have a little dramatic look. So if you go into one of those parties, it's got a little bit of exactly a little jazz or a little some things like that that's that's something that you want to that you want to wear okay and our next one we're going to we're going to show you it's another platform it's a kind of a one length platform and we're going to see how that works for you okay 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 listen now this is our next platform that we're going to introduce your audience this is my one of my favorite this is a human hand tied um, uh, hair platform and this human uh, hair happen to be one of the best in the world. They're Eastern European human hair. They are 100% Remy full cuticle. They are no blends here of Indian, Indonesian, all kinds of different blends. These are beautiful, beautiful, luscious hair. One of the most expensive wig made here. The inside is, is a little bit, is designed a little bit different. There is, there is a combination of silicone, uh, uh, material inside here, a combination of lace with silicone. Uh, there is a combination of, uh, there's all kinds of combo going on in there. Again, um, one of the best wigs around. And this, you, this particular wig over here is one wig that is a very appropriate for uh, someone that suffers of total alopecia, so uh, total hair loss, because it doesn't slide, it doesn't slip. Uh, off the top of their head. So this is one of my favorite wigs that I like to introduce to my alopecia patients and also clients that they uh, want to wear it occasionally, but it does work best for the alopecia patients. But we're gonna try to put it on you. And what we do usually, we design, if you notice in the front here, there you go, Lisa, you can show them. You can see the lace right here. See, there is excess lace there, and that's because it allows us to create a natural hairline as we need to. We're not Do you want to cut that? Or we're you... going to we're going to trim some of the lace on it okay. to show what the hairline is going to look like. So this is going to be helping me in holding the hair back. Okay. Okay. So we're going to show how we design the just hairline. Just tell me what to do. Yeah, just hold the hair back, and I'm going to cut the the actual. Yeah, we're doing good. I'm gonna leave a little bit of the the lace there because I'm gonna need it for when the real client is gonna be wearing it. So voila. And there you go. So here's the extra excess piece that we cut off. That's what it looks like, and we're gonna to try to put it on Lisa right now. Alrighty. See how that will work out for you. Again, this is not an appropriate unit to put in with somebody that has hair, but we're gonna give it a shot, and we'll see how, what it looks like. It is the best U European human hair uh, uh, air system that is available in, in today's world, um, and it does uh, really work just like it was coming out of your scalp. 
That's beautiful. That wig is so beautiful. Now we have we have this length and we have also uh, a longer length of about uh, 16, 17 inches long. And this is my private collection, the Fabi collection. Okay, hold it like this. And this is a little bit small for Lisa because she's got a ton of hair underneath. But just for the sake of the video, we're just gonna put it on just like this so that you can, you guys kinda absorb wow. uh, the beauty of Wow. Natural, so nice. Eastern European hair, and it's a gorgeous, oh, gorgeous. It's like silk. I, it's silk. I can't let you guys feel this, but trust me, it is like. I don't think this the other wigs even compare to how amazing this hair feels. And so is the price. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's worth it. Yes. If yeah. I was to get a wig. Uh, I really think that I would invest in something this amazing. Yes. Wow. That is wow, gorgeous. Wow, wow. And it's got movement, and yeah. you can do anything with that hair that you would do with your Oops. own natural hair. Except for keep it on my head right now. Yeah, right now. It will not <laughs> fill your head because, again, this is designed for somebody more with natural For Although wow. we can customize it with somebody with hair, we can just make with a bigger clips. base. Yeah, we make a bigger base, we put clips on, and that would be gorgeous. But that is. You can't do any better than that hair. It is the best in the world right now. And Lisa, you look great I'm, with I'm that I'm jealous hair. of this hair. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's a gorgeous unit. Wow, I can't stop touching it. Yeah. What do you think? I can't. Yes, <laughs> this is so awesome, nice, huh? yes. Yeah. So next time we're gonna see you, uh, we're going to be working on extensions yes right? you guys he's going to be putting in extensions for me i'm just gonna go for it i cannot wait for my hair to grow anymore i'm tired of wearing that ponytail all the time so he's gonna put in um tape in right are they taping yeah so we're gonna go with some beautiful tapping extensions lisa told me uh, a little while ago that she wanted to be able to put her hair up and she wanted to be able to put in ponytails. So there is a special way to put these particular tab extensions in a special direction. And, and then uh, with future video, we're gonna show when we remove those extensions from Lisa's hair and we reapply them again. So there's gonna be uh, multiple videos coming up. So We're gonna be doing a bunch of videos it. on all different things. So yes. keep watching us and I will also link all of Vincent's information below. If you want to ask him any questions or give him a call, you can go onto his website. I'll link all his information below. Well, it was nice meeting your audience, Lisa. <laughs> and uh, we'll look forward to do some more uh, beautiful styles. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye, guys. Have Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.